right, everybody. This is uh, Brother Eric, Union Steward at Local 308 and co-organizer with the Justice Coalition. Um, we have been dealing with a whole lot of cases of harassment from management, uh, some of it extremely violent. Uh, how do we fight back? Well, paperwork, paper trail is extremely important. So because it can be overwhelming for the membership, Regarding the paper trail, uh, we have this uh, website set up for you. It's actually just a web page at the chicagotransitworker.com. The link is in the description. chicagotransitworker.com. Scroll down to a button that says Know Your Rights. There's actually, it's actually in two places. It's here, right directly at the top, and it's also at the um, near the bottom so either one of those will take you to where you need to go know your rights whole bunch of uh, services we have here for you this is all done volunteer volunteer to help the members okay it's all free click on the button that says harassment That'll take you right to the anti-harassment uh, website. So here it says, when you're mocked, belittled, berated, or threatened by a manager, coordinators included, that is harassment. No matter how small it may seem, if members do not do something about it, it always gets worse. And at the CTA, harassment is a serious problem that has gotten out of control. Sexual harassment religious harassment, bigotry, and bullying about what you do at work and what goes on outside of work is unacceptable. Stopping it starts with you. Get help from a trusted union steward or officer as soon as you suspect harassment. Don't wait. Below are suggested steps you can take to ensure you and others get justice. The more steps you follow, the more powerful the effect of your complaint will become. So the first thing you always do when you suspect harassment is you notate the date, the time, and what was said or done in your own private diary. All right, that, that could be on a piece of paper, a notebook, or your phone. The only thing is if you do it on your phone, please do not take that phone out when you are on duty, you might get written up for a safety violation or a behavioral violation. Also, find out if there's any other coworkers that are having the same problem with the same person and then stay in touch with them. That way you guys or you all might be able to organize some kind of direct or public action about the issue. And that's where our real power is. Yeah, the paperwork's important, but always be ready to work with coworkers that have the same problem. That's how unions really fight. But the paperwork is important. And that's why we have this website for you. So step two, add to your notes something with information that supports your case. All right. We have, uh, this is in a work in progress, so we don't have links for everything yet. But the uh, CTA ethics booklet is a resource, the safety rules, the collective bargaining agreement, the general rule book, the CTA corrective action guidelines, and the Illinois Public Labor Relations Act. So basically, you are becoming your own union steward, but that's important because then you can help others too, and that's what makes us strong. Now, the third step is we recommend, and I'll show you some of these links. So when you go on the ethics, booklet here it is right here it's a 72 page document but what's nice about it you can search it online it works best to look at it with a desktop computer but you can still look at it with your phone uh, the collective bargaining agreement of course is the contract all right so that's very important and then the CTA general rule book all right and that loads up uh, here from the local 241 website 
and the uh, corrective action guidelines. That's also courtesy of Local 241. And they were having some problems with their website. It seems it had been fixed. All right, that's important to know because you got these managers. They want to write you up for stuff that's a safety for something that's really a procedural. And the Illinois Public Labor Relations Act. So this is a very long document, but you can search the specific uh, uh, topics and try to get some clarity for your case. You can also, on step three, we recommend that you notify us at the Chicago Transit Justice Coalition through our online manager observation report. All right, and right here, you can report the manager and you can do it um, uh, anonymously, actually. So what we're doing, by doing that, you can either just do it anonymously and then, you know, at least we have it or um, we can reach out to you and try to help you with these other steps. Next, complete a concise report to manager form that you can get at the office, the, 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 the manager's office. They have to have it available for you. Include a remedy or solution. Avoid self-incriminating information or names of other coworkers if possible and make a copy for yourself. Now for the union side, there's also paperwork because the CTA is not necessarily not going to give the union these, these bits of information that you're giving. So you have to make sure that you, if you're in local 308, you do a workplace complaint. I'll load that right here. All right. It's not a grievance for local 308. It's a workplace complaint. Or for 241, it is a grievance. All right. And then for that, we also have that, and uh, you'll you'll explain, you know, what it is that's going on here. So for local three zero eight, you don't use a grievance; you use a complaint. That's the. Uh, it's a strange process, but whatever. Now, when you do the workplace complaint or the grievance, attach a copy of the report to manager. Very important. Okay. Give additional details about the incident that you don't want the managers to know if you want. And in also include a remedy or a solution. Now the CTA, I'm sorry, the union people, the president of the union should not be talking to the manager about your complaint without talking to you first. All right? So make sure you follow up. Because some of these presidents, some of these officers, they love the boss and uh, don't like the, me the members, okay? So just wanted to put that out there. The next step, complete a CTA EEOC complaint. And at the link, we have that for you too, all right? So you print that baby out and you they give you a uh, address and an email uh, and a phone number, okay? After that, you file an unfair labor practice charge. That's, that's is, this is the, the crown of uh, your paperwork. But don't jump to seven without doing these others. Because when you get to seven, the labor board is going to want to know, did you complain? Did you do a grievance or a complaint to the union? Did you do a report? They're going to want to know all that stuff. So we have the link for that. You have to include copies of your complaint, your report to manager, and if you had a grievance that's related to a write-up or stolen wages. You know, they don't like you, so they don't give you overtime. They don't like you because they, they, they write you up. Okay, all that stuff you want to include. So we have that link for you. You click on that. And it takes you here to the Illinois Labor Relations Board. And this is the one you want right here. Charge against employer. All right. And then if things change after you submit this, uh, uh, something comes up, then you do an amended charge. You also can do a charge against a labor organization. I don't recommend doing that because, 
you know, it just ties up our own union and our dues end up going towards sometimes dealing with that. But sometimes you have to do that. But for now, the purpose of this section on our website uh, is really about manager harassment. OK, and that's what we're focused on, because that is actually the source of even worker harassment. I hope you found this uh, useful. Again, chicagotransitworker.com. Go to the Know Your Rights section and click on Harassment. These steps are here. I'm a union steward. There's other union stewards that may care, that do care. Reach out to them. And, of course, at the Justice Coalition, we have volunteers that will help you um, go through all of these steps. It is a lot of work. But that's what a fight is all about. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, post it in the comments or uh, let us know at any time. Thank you.